A 6% stock yields 8%. What is the market value of the stock? Well, a 6% stock yields 8%. What does that mean? Well, it means that the dividend is 6% and the interest is 8%. Interest is the amount that is yielded, right? So, if we consider the face value of one share is equal to 100 rupees, then we can say that the dividend is rupees 6. Okay? Now, what is market value? Well, market value is the value of the share at which it is purchased, right? Basically, this is the investment, isn't it? Now, what is interest? Let us write the formula for interest. So, interest percentage is equal to, you know, the gain upon the investment times 100, right? How much you gain upon how much you invest times 100 gives you the interest, right? So, we have the interest percentage that is 8. It is equals to what is the gain? Well, gain is actually the income on the shares and the income on the shares is the dividend, isn't it? So, if the face value is 100, the dividend is 6 rupees. So, 6 is the gain upon the investment is the market value and that is what we want to find. So, MV times 100, right? So, I can get the market value as equals to 6 by 8 times 100 and 4 to the 8, 4 times 25 is 100 and 2 times 3 is 6. So, the market value is equal to 25 times 3 and that's 75 rupees. Right, so option B is the correct answer. By investing rupees 1620 in 8% stock, Michael earns rupees 135. Then at what amount is the stock quoted? Well, what do you mean by the statement at what amount is the stock quoted? Well, it actually means the market value of one stock. Well, how do you calculate that? Well, you have been given the total amount invested. So basically you have one formula for calculating the total number of shares, which is N. It is equals to the investment that is the total investment upon investment on one stock and that's the market value right so you can calculate the market value if you have the total number of shares and how do you calculate that well if you have the total number of shares as 1 you get the dividend as 8 if we consider the face value as 100 right now what will be the number of shares if the dividend is 135 rupees right so let it be x or let it be n. n is equals to 135 by 8. Just cross multiply and equate. Let us put this here. So 135 by 8 is equals to the total investment that's 1620 upon the market value. So the market value is equals to 1620 times 8 by 135. Right? Now if I divide 1620 by 135 I get 12. So 12 times 8. And 12 times 8 is 96. So 96 rupees is the amount at which the stock is quoted. Option B is the correct answer. How much investment one must make in order to obtain an income of rupees 650 from 10% stock at rupees 96? 10% stock at rupees 96. What does that mean? Well, it means that the dividend is 10% and the market value is 96 rupees. The market value of one stock, actually. I can say that if I consider the face value as 100, the dividend is 10 rupees and the market value is 96 based upon this statement. Right? So, income is actually 10, that is the dividend, if the investment, that is the market value of one share, is 96 right and you need what is the investment to be made if you want an income of 650 rupees right just cross multiply and equate and get the answers so x is equals to 96 times 650 divided by 10 isn't it so this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out this is equal to 96 times 65 is 6240
and this is rupees the investment to be made so option b is the correct answer easy right a man invested rupees 1552 in a stock at 97 to obtain an income of 128 rupees what is the dividend from the stock now what does stock at 97 mean when it means that if the face value is 100 rupees the market value is 97 rupees of one stock right let us say that the dividend be x and this will be in percentage because the face value is considered as 100 isn't it now I can say that market value is basically investment and the dividend is basically the income right so if the investment is 97 rupees I have considered the income as X right now we have been given the income as 128 so I can write 128 here and we have also been given the amount that is invested completely for all the shares right and that's 1552 so I can write that here right no need to worry about the face value now because we've got this section correctly just cross multiply and equate we can get the value of X and X will be the dividend percentage and Y percentage because the face value is 100 so I have X times 1552 is equals to 128 times 97 right so X is equals to 128 times 97 divided by 1552 and when you solve it you'll get it as 8 percent right so the dividend is 8 percent I hope you got the point what I tried to explain here